I have eight eggs right here. I'm gonna add some uh, this uh, yummy um, coffee mate. Let's see, this is what? Oh, Italian sweet cream. We're gonna add about I don't know half a cup of that to it. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of vanilla. And then I've got some powdered sugar right here. Add about half a cup of that. Well, a little more, what do you think? Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of uh, salt. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and whisk this up. And we're not done yet. We got a couple more things we gotta add to this. Mm -hmm. I like using this powdered sugar because it really just blends in really good. It's gonna be delicious. You can make this overnight. Let this sit in your refrigerator and then it's ready to go in the morning. Okay, y'all, it's easy, easy, easy. Okay, and you don't have to use as many eggs as, you, as I am. You could always cut that down to six eggs if you wanted to. We've got our own chickens here and they are producing like crazy. Okay, so we kind of get all that incorporated. I'm gonna add um, some one block of cream cheese in here. We're just gonna kind of dollop that in, okay? Break it up a little bit. We wanna leave these chunks in here. It's gonna give it a nice, really different flavor than normal, okay? All right, and we got those chunks right in there. Okay, that looks good. Oh yeah, it's gonna be delicious. Man, your family is gonna love this. It's gonna get on the table quick. Okay, now I've got some bread right here. We're just gonna lay this on top, just like this, okay? Just like that. You can use any of bread you have, um, especially use those ends. Can you tell my family does not like those ends too much? Okay, we're gonna keep putting those on. I'm gonna put another layer on just like that. And I'm gonna push it down into it so it kind of soaks it up, just like that. Okay, all right, all right, y'all, hold on. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of flip these over like that so it can get all soaked in, all right. Kind of stick in here, all right, there we go. Yes, just like that, okay? Then we're gonna kinda take our spatula and kinda smash it on in. What we're trying to do is get all that bread to um, soak up the egg and stuff. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and take on my Coffee Mate again, and I'm just gonna add another little layer on top, just like that. Okay, oh my gosh, y'all, this is gonna be delicious. Okay, there it is. Then we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 40 to 45 minutes uncovered. All right, I just pulled it out of the oven now. So I've got some maple syrup right here. We're just gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of this on. Oh yeah, look how much prettier it's already looking. Y'all, it's gonna taste good, so don't worry about what it looks like, okay? All right, this is all about feeding the family, y'all. Gotta get food on the table for your family. All right, now I've got some powdered sugar right here. We're just gonna go ahead and dazzle that on, just like this. All right, come on, come on now, sugar. Oh yeah, see that? You just cover up the ugliness with some powdered sugar. That's what you do. That is how you get it going. Now look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, let's go ahead and taste this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Hot and steamy. Yes, look at that. All right, we could add some brown sugar or some cinnamon on top, but I'm just gonna go in and Let's see how this tastes. I bet it's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice soaked. Mmm. Let's taste it. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Subscribe for more recipes.